Well, Nuno, many congratulations. Fantastic win. Tell us how you did it. Uh, the boys did it. The boys did it. The credit for them. Uh, we are not long time here. We are trying, but the credit for them for their work. Congratulations to them and to all the support of our fans. They were amazing through the game. They helped us so much. So thank you. Um, it seemed to be built on pacey but accurate counter-attacking. Is that fair? I think we had a lot of chances. I think we had a lot of chances. We've been able to break the first moment of press of Newcastle. They press very hard. It requires to be brave and have the ball and find the right spaces. And the boys did it. They did it. Uh, but not only counter attack. I think as the game go progressed, we had very good spells of good possession. But we 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 defended very well. Also, we were very aggressive on the box. Not like last week. So this improvement, I think, is the way that we have to to proceed and, and go. Improvement, you know, in the space of what three days or whatever it is, you, you've had to work with them. But they they realize that to play football in the Premier League with uh, with the level that they, there is, defend the box is is priority, and the boys did it well today. Mm. Uh, crucial time to get the equaliser, maybe just yeah. before half time. In mean, fantastic goal, but a great time to get it as well. Definitely, definitely. But just before we had a good chance, just the same. But Anthony decided to to finish. Nothing to say about that. But it was exactly the same movement, uh, but changes everything. You know, going to the dressing room just before, just before you score a goal, the mood changed, the belief changed, and the boys believe it. I think we had a good talk in the in the half time that we had to go for the second half. In just beginning of the second half, we have a fantastic chance on Morgan, uh, well played. So that gives us the belief that um, we have talent. So let's try, let's try and improve. You mentioned that start of the second half. I mean, what was what, 12, 15 seconds into the yeah. second half? But you really came out and put Newcastle to the sword at that yeah, point. Yeah, that was the idea. That was the idea. I think uh, the boys did well. Congratulations to them. <laughs> <laughs> um, a special word about Chris Wood because that's a special day for him. I mean, it is. You score a Premier League hat trick, it's always special. But to do it against your old club as well, at your old ground. Um, and he took his goals. Um, first one you would expect him to score, but he took the other two very well, didn't he? And the way he did it, the way he did it is amazing. So the goals, it's important. But how he finished the, se the, the second goal is, is beautiful. It's something that I will enjoy seeing over and over again because <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. So, and saying uh, congratulations to Chris, but for Chris to score goals, they have to work very hard on uh, behind. So all of them, all of them, all of them, the fans, let's enjoy this moment, but let's not stop here. We know, we know that we have to rest now and it's a quick turn now, but it's in the city ground. We expect to, to give a good, a good game again. And uh, as much maybe as the three goals, once you've got 3-1 up, after an hour, you know there's still half an hour to go. So how pleasing was it for you, to, the way that your team saw out the game? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, it's a learning process. I think we, we got the lesson right from, from last time and we defended very well. Of course, then we put energy in the, in the pitch. The boys that came in from the bench help a lot the team. Uh, Joe came in just in the, in the last minutes to save on the, on the goal line. So... Every minute that the, uh, our player goes in the pitch and gives gives a help, it means a lot for us. And in terms of your team, you obviously made six changes today in the yeah. starting lineup, and, and obviously it's worked. I wonder how much of that was because of having to play three quarters of the game with ten men the other day and, and not a great deal of recovery time, or how much of it was to do with you wanting to see other players in a match day situation. It was a, a, a mix of everything, you know. A big effort from the players on, on the last game, one man down, 75 minutes is hard. It's like you, you have to give eight Ks more for everybody, so it means a lot. Uh, we want energy for this game. We knew how Newcastle play and how aggressive they are it requires a lot of energy. But at the same time, I think it was a good chance to see, to see and know the players better. So we can make the better decisions in the future because we have to make it. We have there will be a moment that that we will have to make decisions. The squad is too big. Everybody knows that. So knowing players, but it's easier when we work on victories. So it's easier the the mood, the belief. So good it was good it was a good day for us. Special day for the fans. I know you mentioned them earlier, but they made some noise up there, didn't they? Yeah, no, they helped. They helped us all. I was looking at the time. I was looking at the board, and I look at them, and they were singing. And that—that that is, we need them so much. We need them so much. So I cannot thank them enough. Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you very much.